First for us this year, um, it's called a breakout session, and students are um, being asked to think outside of the box. Mm -hmm. They're being asked to um, talk to one another, look for clues online and in the physical space of the room, uh, in order to find uh, the ultimate treasure. And they're struggling a little bit because this is a lot different from anything that they want to do in the past. So Math Super Bowl isn't just necessarily straightforward math problems, there's a lot of problem solving. A lot of problem solving, a lot of teamwork, critical thinking, so yes. Well the Common Core uh, standards require that students are doing a lot of critical thinking, a lot of problem solving. So that's much different than kind of the math um, historically that we've done. You know? and so students are being asked to do a lot of collaboration and a lot of the, the problem solving is a really big, uh, really big deal. So, so far it's been going great. The kids have really had a good time. They're working really hard. Um, one of the, a couple of the big goals here is to show how math is important in the world and make connections. So they got to meet some engineers and other things. And another one is to collaborate and be creative with people from their own school and across the district that are also math and maybe make some new connections. So our final activity is something like an escape room with a bunch of math puzzles they have to solve. And they're working with more than one school, so I'm hoping that'll be to bring something to the district work across school collaboration. But it's been really exciting to watch so far. They work really hard. And how many students per team do we have today? We have roughly 24 students per team. Uh, uh, four per each grade level, four, fifth, and six. There's 12 schools today. Today we have eight represented, um, a little bit over 120 students. The district approached us in 2010 that they wanted to have a math Super Bowl, and it has expanded through these many years. And um, it, as you can see, it's a wonderful. Any funder would want to do this. Uh, there's so much learning that goes on, and yet we're having fun too. And our math skills are getting great. Uh, you know, we do things all throughout the county, yeah. but this certainly is a wonderful example of involving the full district in. STEM, which is our forte, science, technology, engineering. What are some of the other projects or events that you fund for well, STEM? Um, in the Santa Maria Bonita School District, we fund a pilot for Algebra One readiness that is going on, I believe, at nine school sites um, in the district. So we do everything. And then we also fund teacher grants. There's many teachers in this district, in um, all the districts throughout Santa Barbara County, that uh, write for teacher grants to do STEM activities or have technology in their classrooms. And so we're funding all of that. In the south part of the county, we fund Family Ultimate Science Nights mm -hmm. through our partnership with UCSB. And um, in that, we see families and eighth graders come out and do something similar, but with science. <laughs> And where do you teach? I teach at uh, Paso Robles Joint Unified School District. And you're here to observe the... I'm here to observe Math Super Bowl. I uh, met Gina through the Tri-County Game Council, and she shared with me this exciting event, and we're hoping to bring it to our students at Paso Robles next year, starting with our fourth and fifth graders. And I'm the gifted and talented education teacher on special assignments, and really like to hone in on those kids who have those exceptional math skills. really neat that they have a ballot and they get to vote on the team member that they think deserves an award for being a collaborator and someone who is easy or good to work with and who is tolerant of others. And so it teaches not only the math skills, but also the character skills and life skills that kids need in order to interact and be part of a team and part of a group. Yeah.